Okay, so more questions. I'm trying to make them shorter batches because I'm taking forever like I always do. So Melissa from the Metalhead Bookworm. Hi. She asks for my favourite books. Evil question! Jeez! Um, I suck at, like, listing favourites. I really do. So I'm going to rattle titles off. Anne of Green Gables, the Harry Potter series, um, the Wicked Lovely series, the Killer Unicorn series, but, like, Rampant and Ascendant. Um... I know I'm missing stuff. See, already I'm sucking at it. So just take those titles and run with them because my brain doesn't want to keep trying to list favourites because I feel mean when I forget things or leave stuff out. So, But certainly Harry, certainly Anne, certainly the Fae that Melissa Marr created and certainly those killer unicorn hunters. Certainly. Those are definites. Oh, and the Little Women books as well because the March Sisters are awesome. What draws me to a book? I'm a cover whore. So, yeah, pretty covers get my attention and draw me in. And they, I, I should have learned by now that that can very easily be a visual trap. And you should never judge a book by its cover. It really is true. But I am a sucker for really pretty covers. So, I mean, uh, that will at least get me picking the book up and looking at the, the blurb. Um, a good substantial description in a blurb will help as well. But I mean, ultimately, it needs to like just tick things that I like in novels. Like, I mean, obviously, if it's a fantasy book, I mean, I have preferences within the fantasy genre, so I like my, I like fairies, obviously. But I, uh, I also like high fantasy, so I like worlds that have really been developed and created. Um, I like strong female characters, so if I can get a sense of that, especially if they're warriors. Uh, I, I also am a sucker for favourable reviews, so if I know that the book's been receiving a lot of praise and substantial praise, so it's not just from like, you know, a girl's, like a teen magazine or something saying, this book rocks! I mean, you know, if it's something relatively credible, then, um, then that'll certainly get me thinking, yeah, really? Especially if it's from, if it's from other authors whose opinions I trust as well, that can help. Yeah, so reviews, covers, strong female characters. The three main things, probably. Um, why exactly am I a Hufflepuff? Well, okay, I'm an overly sensitive soul, so I get upset and hurt. I do get angry very easily. I mean, I'm not very good at showing anger because I don't like confrontation, so that's a big thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm very sensitive. And I also, I, like, it's very hard to describe yourself in these terms without it sounding arrogant and very self-praising, but I don't mean in that way at all. But I'm, I am very compassionate and I am a compulsive apologizer, as I'm sure most of you can attest to. I say I'm sorry and mean it all the time, at least five times a day. It's really ridiculous. So, yeah, I just, I, I'm very alert to making sure that other people are happy all the time um, but also I take things on take burdens on a lot and I worry heaps so I don't know all these kind of traits just made me think more Hufflepuff than any of the other Hogwarts houses and I guess I'm I mean I'm pretty good pretty good at finding things fairly Fairly okay. I mean, they're relatively random things that you wouldn't necessarily think to try and find, but I do find them. And also, I guess I, uh... Yeah, I, guess, I mean, I guess it was more so qualities I was lacking that couldn't put me in the other houses. But, um, I mean, essentially, yeah, just personality traits that I thought lent more to a Hufflepuff side. And they're all really nice, friendly, decent folk in there. And we get a bad rap, so I'm, I'm glad to be in a house that you know, nurtures and promotes, like, genuinely good qualities in human beings. I'm proud of it. Favourite Joe Walker moment or moments in Star Kids musicals? So, to be fair, I've only actually seen the entirety of a Very Potter musical and a Very Potter sequel. I've seen bits of Me and My Dick, but not the whole show yet, so I can't really comment on that. So, favourite Joe Walker moment in a Very Potter musical her. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously you can say the entire musical sequence of To Dance Again because that was just effing adorable, him tap dancing. And also we got to see his abs and he's just so beautiful. 
but I'd probably say right towards the end, probably the moment when he comes in and quirls on the floor so upset because he thinks he's dead and then he looks over at him and he just says, hey you, that was... That was the cutest thing ever. I love the Quirrell and Voldemort bromance in that. It, I never would have thought that was a pairing I would ship, but they are adorable in that show. So that was, yeah, probably my number one in that one. And then in the second one, obviously, where he plays Umbridge, hmm, it would probably be, probably be when he's got the axe and he's sitting at the desk, he's just usurped Dumbledore's office and his position as headmaster of Hogwarts, and Snape saying, are you suggesting we kill a student? And he's holding the axe and just stroking it and says, of course not, Snape. That would be crazy. We can have crazy people running this school. So yeah, probably my number one in, in a very Potter sequel. But he has golden moments in both of them, of course. And Melissa's final question is, how is Ollie? Ollie is fine. I'll even take this camera. I think he's in my room. I hope he is, or this will be an embarrassing trip for no reason. Yep. Hey you! How you doing? It's like, why? Stop! Oh, I'm so sorry to interrupt. But as you can see, Ollie is fine. He hates summer, and it just makes him you know, excessively lethargic, even more so than usual. So he's just chilling. You chilling? I'll get out of your face. I promise. He's like, piss off. You want to say hello to everybody? No, nah. no, you didn't. Okay. Okay, so, <laughs> Melissa, your questions have taken up the entirety of the video. Yay! This is going on for too long because all I do is ramble, so I'm going to do some more questions soon. Bye. Bye from me. Bye from Ollie.